how to make them want you more and more and more using these special law of attraction methods. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle. And of course, we are always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Thank you so much for subscribing. Remember to always click the bell icon because we're here all the time with a new video for you to empower your life. Hi Flyers, I want to remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Visit lawofattractionsolutions.com. It's our new website. We want you to see it. Stop by, claim your 30 minutes. You'll be glad you did. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. So how to make them want you more and more and more and more and more using some of the ideals and concepts and methods taught by the law of attraction. You know, I think the law of attraction is the best way. It's the most efficient and effective way to get somebody to really have feelings for you. Because as Neville Goddard says, everyone is you pushed out. So you're really working on aspects of yourself. Unlike a lot of the dating coaches out there who are trying you to uh, use tricks and trickery and say this word and don't say that word, we're focusing more on vibration, on creating a deep connection between you and that specific person in your life. So high flyers, all the trickery in the world, all the cute little sayings and phrases that you get from the dating coaches aren't going to work very effectively if you're out of alignment. And one way to increase your alignment with love is to raise your vibration of self-love. In other words, bathe yourself in self-love. Do things for yourself. Realize that you are all that you have. You are always going to be with you, no matter who else is in your life. Whoever else comes in or out of your life, you will always be with yourself. So doesn't it make sense to love yourself, to have a loving relationship with who you are? And the more you love yourself, the higher your vibration goes, the more your confidence begins to increase and expand. Then you have put yourself in a position to be magnetic and to draw people to you, the kinds of people that empower your life, the kinds of people you want to associate with and more specific, that special person that you're interested in. Now there's a lot of different ways to visualize, but you know, you can visualize with your eyes open. Your brain is capable of seeing pictures. If you have the opportunity, one of the most powerful law of attraction things that you can do is to get this specific person to visualize with you. In other words, you don't sit down and say, we're going to visualize together. No, you just talk. Wouldn't it be, I love that phrase, write that down. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be nice if we took a motorcycle ride up to the mountains? Wouldn't it be fun to just hop on an airplane this weekend and go somewhere? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm creating an atmosphere where my specific person is visualizing with me. And then we start talking about it. Oh, I think it'd be nice to go do this, to go to the ocean. Oh yeah. And when we're at the ocean, we can, uh, we can maybe take a day and uh, get a boat and go out and do some sightseeing. Do you see what I'm saying? The two of you start uh, talking back and forth, visualizing out loud. So here's the phrase. Wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be great? Could it be, could it be that we will have more fun in that hot air balloon than we've ever had in our entire life? You know, I wonder, I love that one because you see, it gets your specific person to activate their imagination and begin using it. I wonder 
how much fun it will be. I wonder how nice it would be to take a drive out in the country and look at the leaves changing from green to orange. You get the idea? You're just, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It's just small things. I wonder how much fun it will be to listen to that new band that's out. I wonder if that old band still sounds any good. Maybe we should go there and have a couple drinks and watch them play on Friday night. You see, it's not a specific asking someone out. That's not what it's about. It's getting someone to dream with you. So next High Flyers is because you love yourself, because you're filling your life up with all kinds of wonderful things to explore, to learn, to do, to become, you're, you're busy. So don't always be an open book for your specific person. Look, if they know that you get home at five and you stay home until you go to work the next day and that's your life and you maybe watch a TV show or two, or maybe you spend a little time on the internet and they know that's what you do, then they know that you're sitting there waiting for them. So fill your life up. You know, the worst thing in the world is to have a life that was wasted with nothing. Fill your life up with things to learn, do, become, places to go, build new friendships, and don't settle for less than you're worth. You know, if uh, your partner or your specific person doesn't want to give you what you're worth, don't settle for it. Because once you settle for less than you are worth, you will be settling over and over and over and over again. You've taught that person, it's okay to give me less. Next, we've talked about this before in several videos, but pillow talk. Pillow talk is where you just simply grab a pillow as you fall asleep and you believe it to be that special person in your life, that specific person. And you hold that pillow and you squeeze it and you close your eyes and you begin whispering to it. Now, what you're doing is you're really reaching out ooh, and talking to their subconscious mind. That's what you're really doing. So you don't want to talk about what you feel. You want to talk about what they feel. I know you love being with me. I know I feel how much you enjoy my company. I and, and if it's not exactly true right now, you keep saying it and believing it and it'll become true. So you say little phrases like that, nothing special until you fall asleep. And you do that every single night. Pillow talk. It's powerful and it works. So high flyers, I remember when I was a kid and I was taking driver's education and the dr driving instructor, he had a brake over there and everything. So who was really in control of the car? Well, I, I was most of the time, but the driving instructor could always take control. And that's what I mean when I say slow is fast. It's a quote from the late Stephen Covey. Slow is fast in a relationship. So think about this. If you're the one that controls the brakes, let's slow things down. Let's just take it a day at a time. Let's enjoy every moment that we have together. Let's not futurize too much yet. When you control the brakes, you control the pacing of the relationship. So be in control of the brakes. And remember that slow is fast. And finally, pay attention to other people. You know, a lot of times when people get in a relationship, they, or, or maybe they don't even get in a relationship, they're just interested in one person. They, I don't want to see anybody else. I don't want to go anywhere. I, they don't want to do anything. They just want to see that person. It's like that other person has become a drug to them. You need to spend time with other people. You need to show other people attention. 
Look at it. If you're not in a deeply committed relationship that involves a ring, okay, if you're not at that level of commitment, then you're still just seeing each other and you need to see other people as well. Because you see, when you're in demand, everybody wants you. They want your time. They want your energy, including your specific person. But if you're not in demand, if you're just sitting there on standby, waiting and hoping that he calls you or she calls you, guess what? You've made yourself vulnerable. And now this person sets the pace of the relationship. You've lost control of where this new relationship is going to go. You can always maintain control by detaching and loving yourself filling yourself with as much positive, loving energy as you possibly can every single day. This is the most powerful way you can draw them to you and they're going to want more and more and more because you're worth it. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.